Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've been looking at the JE main and JEE advanced tests, some interesting aspects of how to prepare for the test came to my mind and I thought I would share some of those with you. In other words, how do we prepare for the physics portion of the JE main or the JE advanced test? Now there, there are some differences there, but the general approach to prepare for them are pretty well the same as it would be for the preparation of any physics test anywhere in the world. Now, of course, in some cases, you may have some uh, advantage in that you can look at some equations and things like that, or that they will give you the constants. When it comes to the JE test, they don't give you anything. You have to have it all up here when you walk into the test room. So how do we prepare? Well, it falls into two main categories. The first six is literally how do we prepare for the test. The last two have more to do with how to prepare for actually taking the test because there's essentially some shortcut methods or some things you can do to increase your chances of getting the right answer if you don't know what it is or how to, um, or how to calculate it. But sometimes you can kind of get a shortcut to it and kind of guess and limit the, prob the probability of, um, of being wrong when you do that. So, how should we prepare? So this is a general summary. We'll go into much of the detail in the videos to come. First of all, you need to memorize all the fundamental equations in physics. Now, we know there's a lot of equations in physics, but we're talking about the fundamental ones because on the fly, you can quickly derive some of the other ones if you have the main ones memorized. So you don't have to memorize all of them, but the fundamental set is still a very large set. We're probably think, talking about at least 100 different equations that you have to have memorized. Now, if you spend some time doing that over time, it is not that hard of a task. It just needs, it need, it takes time to do that, but it's really, really important that you do because if you see a problem and you don't remember the equation, you're going to have a hard time getting the right answer. Secondly, you also need to memorize the technique to solve each type of problem or concept. This is almost as important as the first part right here. Memorize the technique because for each type of physics problem or each type of physics concept, there's a set way in which you can solve the problem. If you don't know that set way, if you don't know where to start the problem, you'll falter and you'll spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. You have to have immediately the methodology of how to solve that particular type of problem in your head, memorized, so that when you see it, first of all, you understand the concept, you know the equation, and you know the methodology of solving it, and you can immediately begin to solve the problem. Again, that requires a lot of effort, and of course, you need to organize all those various techniques and have them ready at your fingertips, so to speak, when you take the test. Thirdly, you need to understand and memorize each definition and concept of physics. For example, you need to know the definition of the friction force. If you don't know that and you have a, a problem that looks kind of weird or different, you don't know how to find the friction force unless you know the pure definition of it and then you can easily figure it out. So knowing and understanding and memorizing each of the definitions and concepts in physics is also very important. Then, and this is probably specifically for the JE tests, you have to memorize all the standard units. Quite often, it is necessary to know all the various units in order to solve the problem. And, number five, memorize the standard set of constants. Most places, they will actually give you the constants. They're kind of kind to you, and they give you the constants, so you have to memorize it, like what's Planck's constant, or what's the charge of an electron, things like that. But on the JE test, most of the time, they expect you to know it, so you should memorize the standard set of constants as well, and we'll give you a list of what they are. And then finally, number six, you may have done well, one through five, and you've memorized everything, you're ready to go, but unless you spend a lot of time practicing over and over again various example problems so that it's fresh in your mind and you're ready to go. So this is something that you must do throughout and all the way to the end, Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more it becomes natural to you and the more you'll be able to figure out when the problem is slightly different from before, how to apply all the various things you've memorized and understood, again, to that particular problem. So this is, of course, indispensable. You need to spend a lot of time practicing. So now, you go into the test room and you start taking the test. Sometimes, 
you need to learn how to eliminate some of the multiple choice answers. For example, you may know that it's definitely always less than one. So any answer greater than one is automatically eliminated. Or you know that it must be a positive answer, so you eliminate all the negative answers, that type of thing. And of course, that's based upon your understanding of the first five concepts. Uh, and then, of course, when you're in the test and you're not quite sure how to solve the problem, but you can immediately eliminate one or two or three of the, po of the multiple choice answers, then the guessing work gives you a higher probability of guessing it correctly and ultimately you'll get more points on the test. Also, learn to look for shortcuts to the answer. Sometimes understanding, and then we go back to number three, if you understand and memorize the concepts, sometimes you can shortcut through it instead of having to work out the whole problem. You can simply go, oh, I understand that concept, so therefore by doing this, by taking the ratio or doing this, I can get the answer, and you can quickly get to the answer and move on to the next problem. So we'll show you examples of these to help you figure out how to get through the test faster and with a higher probability of a better score. And then of course, we'll show you examples of all these things so that you can be well prepared for the test. So this is, well, it's easy to write it down on the board, it's easy to talk about it, but of course it takes an enorma, enormous amount of work and discipline to go through that and actually commit all this to memory and be ready for a test like the JEE. So, well, we'll give you all the details in the videos to come.